it's Josh here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another tutorial. And today I'll be showing you how to build this wonderful, wonderful car park right here. Including giving you the decals for these disabled spots, these child and parent spots, and these staff only spots over here. And I'll also be showing you how to do these poles right here with letters on and I'll be giving you all the decals to use in your park. So let's just get started. So first of all, I'm going to be showing you this sort of size car park right here, although feel free to scale this as small or as big as you'd like. That's the wonder of this, is that I'm going to be showing you this size, although you could make this 10 times the size or even just half the size. But for what I'm going to be showing you, we're going to go 1, 2, and 3 like so. We're going to do that all again like that, and then we're just going to go one more block in like so. We're going to start off right here by just literally filling this all in with primitives. Now I'm going to be colouring my primitives this grey right here with concrete, although you could go for a black like this or something else similar. You could even go with pink if you'd like, although I'm not sure that'd be the best option possible. Okie dokie, and there we go. Now I'm going to bring my path in all the way along here, doesn't matter what material or colour you use. But next we're going to add our dirt line in like so. So what we want to do is just count one, two, three, four, five, six, and then after that we want to place in a dirt finger in all the way along like so. By the way, I'm painting this rock right here with this brown colour, although feel free to do whatever you want here. We're going to paint all that back to grey, and then here in the very centre we just want to remove these three primitives right here. Now that's because we want to grab a primitive cuboid like so, place one in there, place one in like so, and then we're just going to set our snapping to a quarter and we're going to place in another one like so, and another one on the other side like so. And then in the middle we're going to place two more just primitives like that. Now it's time to paint them all, so we're going to paint these two middle ones grey, these two ones right here dirt, and then these in the middle we can paint whatever colour we'd like. Before we do that though, we're going to come into our destroy tool right here and we're just going to slightly lift these up. So let's just go on to no snapping and we're just going to bring this up a little bit like so. Make sure you do that on the other side of course and then we're going to bring one two and then one two and do the exact same on the other side i'm going to be painting mine gray concrete so gray like this and concrete although feel free to go with whatever you'd like but now let's actually get onto our parking spots so we're going to go into our primitives and scroll all the way along right here until we eventually find this very thin pole here. Now we're just going to come into this corner right here and we're not just going to place it in. We're going to go into precision build mode and place that in there. We want to make sure that we're on 45 degree snapping and we're on no snapping for movement right here. And we can just bring this all the way down until it's just above this pavement like so. And then going back on half snapping, we can just place in one like so. But now it's time to paint them. I'm going to be going for a white, just this slightly little grey white right here. And we're just going to paint in that white concrete. Now, you guessed it, we're going to bring them all the way along these concrete things like that and the same on the other side. So on a half snapping, let's bring this all the way along until we get to right here. We can place in another couple like so. And then we want to bring those white lines going all the way along our dirt section right here. And then let's actually make our spaces. So we're going to go into custom snapping and we're going to set it to 2.5 right here, which means that every single time we move, we'll just automatically get a parking space like so. So let's just add in all of our lines. All right, so we've got all of our parking spaces in right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy that design here and here but we're not actually going to copy it here now we look at it because these are going to be our disabled spots and we want to just leave a bit of space in between them like they do in real life. So let's just copy all these lines over in 3, 2, 1. Okay and as Mr. Benji's adventures would say there you go. So we've now got all of our lines in. I've added them around the edge right here because they are still the same but now it's time to work out our disabled spots. So our actual parking spots will be the same size as these but they're going to have these buffers on the edge. So to do that what we're going to do is just make sure we're in half snapping right here and we're just going to bring across one like so and then we just want to bring those all the way along like so and then what we're going to do is set our custom snapping to 2.5 and we're going to add another line across like that then we're going to go on half then we're going to go back onto 2.5 and you can probably guess what we're going to do by now so once we've brought all those in of course we want to bring them all the way up to the top okay wonderful now what we want to do is actually bring in these lines down at the bottom now because they're so small we're going to have to use this primitive right here but we're just going to go into no snapping bring this down to the end and we're just going to place that in a little bit like that and then using a quarter snapping we can bring these on every single one of these like as so and of course give them a nice paint and there you go now to add our blue paint in like so we just want to bring a primitive up like that and we're just going to bring it up on no snapping just a tiny bit and then we're going to color this blue now i've gone for this blue right here with a nice concrete although of course you don't have to do it blue you don't have to do it this blue you can do it whatever color you'd like but we're just going to add one of those into every single spot and also add another one above it and then to fill in this little gap right here we just want to bring in one of these 
primitive cuboids like so, just on a half snapping, and we can just place one of these in every single space just to fill it up like this. All right, great stuff. Now for this end part right here, we obviously just want to add a lot more parking spaces in, but that's just the exact same thing as what I've showed you right here, so I'm not actually going to bother because I'm uh, sure you're all smart enough to work that one out. <laughs> so let's actually get on to our decals that we're going to be using for the disabled spots, the parent and child spots, and the staff only spots. So we're going to be grabbing this image panel right here and then we're just going to bring it across making sure that we're on precision build mode and then on a quarter snapping we just bring that into the middle, rotate it all the way around and then we can just bring this down on no snapping until it's starting to kind of just show through like that. Then we can go back onto a quarter snapping and once we've got to the edge right here we can just go one, two like so. We can turn the transparency on like so and then we just need to put our ID in. Now it will be up on the screen although all of it will be linked down below in a Google Doc so make sure to check the description and it should be down there. But of course, I've just got it. So I can just go into your decals and actually just get it like so. And there you go. Now we can just place this on every single parking space like so. And it's pretty much the same thing for the other ones too. They're going to be in the exact same spots as the disabled one. So we're just going to bring this back one, two, like so. But of course, we just need to put the right IDs in. So we've got the parent and child spot like so. And then over here, we've got our staff only one like so. And then we can very, very easily just copy these over to every single spot. And well, there you go. We're going to quickly go over this little speed bump that we've got right here it's pretty simple all we need to do is come into our primitive scroll all the way along very very long way until we find this big thick pole right here and then we just want to rotate this round and bring it down on no snapping now it's completely up to you where you actually put it but it doesn't want to pop out too much so i'm just going to go about here now we can move this just a little bit closer to the edge it should be a quarter away from the edge like so so we just want to place in one like that one like that and then we're just going to move all the way along with one of our spheres right here i always forget which one it is i think it's this one right here there you go and we just place in one there and one there give it a paint and there you go you've got a speed bump so before we get into our lights and our letters right here let's actually get all of our bushes in now again this is really simple all we need to do is just get our primitive cuboid place it in like that and then we're just going to move it down on a quarter snapping by one just so it's not too tall bring that all the way along and well now it just needs a bit of a paint now i'm going to paint mine this green right here with just some grass although you could go for the actual color of the grass in the plot which is this one right here and you can see that's the same color or you could go for a darker color you could even go for more of a gray color it doesn't really matter it's up to you. But I want to go for a bit more of a light colour, so we're going to go for this here. And now to actually make these poles right here, we're going to be placing in just one of these primitive cuboids. Make sure that we're on our precision build mode and we just move that across on a quarter snapping. We'll place one in the middle right there and we're going to place another one in the middle right over here too. Then on top of that, we're going to scroll along until we find our cylinder and we're going to place one of those in on an ape snapping just like that. We want to bring two more of these on top of each other like that and then we want to leave one gap and we want to place one, two, three, four, five on top of that. Now we've left that gap because then we can come back into our primitives and just place a little square in like like so. And then for our lights up here, we just want to search for a flat primitive like that. We just want to get the circle one and then on a quarter snapping, we can place one in like that. Leave one gap like that. Make sure we're on a quarter snapping, of course, and we just place that in like so. Now let's give everything a bit of a paint. So I'm just going to be painting mine grey, not concrete, sorry, but a grey metal like that. I'm going to paint this all metal going all the way up like so. And then for our bottom part, we're going to paint that grey concrete. So for this middle box right here, I've used this blue right here, although it doesn't even have to be blue. It doesn't need to be this blue. I've just chosen this blue because it's quite similar to what a lot of actual theme park car parks have it's very similar to this sort of color so just uh, choose a color and go with it you could even have different colors for different parts of it instead of having letters but of course that's up to you so let's get our spotlights in now so what we want to do is just come up here go into others and we're just going to scroll all the way along until we find our spotlight like this let's just bring that up until it starts showing through right there and then we can just rotate this around by 45 degrees like that and we just want to drag it out to about right there and then we can can just hold shift and middle mouse click onto this middle part and rotate it round on a 45 degree snapping we can just rotate it around 90 degrees another 90 degrees and another 90 degrees and then let's just give that a bit of a paint job right here of course we don't want it to be a different colored metal do we now you'll notice it's gone night time and that's because well these lights aren't really doing much right now so what we're actually going to do is we're just going to up this all the way up to 60 we're going to lower this down to one and then we're going to set this to off during the day and of course we just want to do that to every single other light right here so the very, very last thing that we need to do is our letters on these boxes right here. So we're just going to come into this. We're going to go into others and find all the way along here our image panel like so. We're just going to drag that out until it starts to show through like so. And then, of course, we want to make it transparent. Now, this is where you need to choose the letter you're going to do. Down below, I have left 10 different letters all the way from A all the way up to J. So we're just going to go for this A right here. And there we go. We've got a lovely A. And now just to rotate this round, we're going to hold shift and click on this A. And we're just 
just going to hold shift and middle mouse click right there. And then we can just set our snap into 45 degrees and place in another free like so. But yeah, that's absolutely everything right here. I want to give a big thank you to all of my Discord server boosters and channel members. Here they are all up on the screen right now. You can become one yourself for only 99p or $1.30 a month. It's super, super cheap and you get so many stuff like early access to videos, early access to showcasing your park streams and sneak peeks. So if you'd like to support me that little bit extra, make sure to click that join button down below. But except from that, guys, of course, I'd love a like and subscribe on this video if it's helped you out. Any questions, comment down below and I'll be happy to help you. You can also join our Discord server where I'll be able to help you a little bit better. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you'll have an absolutely amazing day and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye. Yeah.